Hi everyone! So then it was time that I reappear on camera and finally get round to doing the highly requested tips on cutting your guinea pig's nails video. <laughs> so in this video I'm going to only cover briefly the basics of nail care because there's already a lot of information out there, a lot of videos covering that kind of thing and what I've been asked to talk more about is the different methods that you can use to make it easier for you and less stressful for your piggies when you're cutting their nails, especially relevant if you have baby piggies, skittish piggies, squirmy piggies, piggies that just like to make life difficult. <laughs> so hopefully one or more of these methods will help you out. But briefly, uh, we need to cut our guinea pigs nails because they grow continuously and I'd recommend we cut them every two, two to four weeks depending on how much we take off. Um, each nail has a blood supply that we call the quick and this is easy to see in piggies with white nails as the kind of pink portion of the nail before the nail tip. It's much more difficult to see in piggies with black nails or darker nails but regardless of the colour of a nail um, I'd recommend we only take off the tip anyway so don't get into a stress about cutting the quick, it's not the end of the world if you do. Um, and tools to use. Now you can use special pet nail clippers that you can get from pet shops and the vets, those kind of places, but a lot of people, including myself, like to use normal human nail clippers like these. So I've got some more sturdy toenail clippers here and I find these better than the kind of more flimsy fingernail, fingernail clippers just because adult piggies can have surprisingly hard to cut through nails that are quite sturdy and quite strong so using a stronger nail clipper that you can still get the same precision with is a really good idea. So now I'm going to cut the all four of the guinea pigs nails and show you, talk through you some different methods that you can use and I hope you'll find this useful. So first up I'm going to cut Willow's nails and this beautiful piggy is Willow. She's my Abyssinian Peruvian cross <laughs> and I'm always amazed at her ninja piggy skills that she does to avoid being picked up. She absolutely hates being lifted out of the cage but when she is out of the cage she's reasonably well behaved. So this method involves using a blanket on a tabletop and uh, moving yourself up close to the table, kind of using your body to stop them from moving. So holding her against me, I'm just going to grasp her hind foot, not too firm because that will just make them want to pull it away. And leaning over her, I can quite easily see where I want to cut. I want to cut just the very end of her nails. And she's got nice white nails so I can quite easily see where the uh, quick is. If you do happen to cut through the quick, it might be handy to have some styptic powder on hand that you can use to stop the bleeding. But to be honest, the majority of the time if we do cut the quick we'll only catch the very end of it and um, if you hold a tissue on it and let the blood clot and the bleeding stop then that'll be sufficient. Just make sure that the bleeding has stopped before you put them back in the cage. And using this method to cut the front nails, what I do is scoop one hand underneath her and again, leaning over, I can quite easily see where I want to cut. Front nails can be a bit not more difficult because they do have a tendency to curve round. Um, you can avoid this if you cut the nails more frequently. Hello Twiggy! <laughs> So with Twiggy, um, she is actually Willow's daughter, <laughs> she's a bit more of a lively squirmy piggy so I'm going to use the second method which is holding them up. And to do the front paws on this method it's quite similar but instead of just holding them like this where she's going to try and pull away a lot, I'm actually going to hold her closer to me and lift her up more tightly against my body so that she can't squirm as much. And again, I'm just going to look down and cut the very tip of the nails, two in one then. And Twiggy is a bit unique. As you can see, she's got this dividing line down her chin. So one half of her front half of her body is black and the other half is white, which means she's got a little black paw and then a little white paw. So with this black one that I can't see the quick on as easily, I am going to just nip off the very end 
of the nail. With this method it helps to get the paws between your front finger and thumb and uh, the heads can get in the way so I'm kind of pushing her head back when I'm doing that just to uh, stop it <laughs> getting in the way so much. Yes, because you're very curious and annoying aren't you? What you'll find with baby nails is that they're often much easier to cut than adults um, once you get past the wriggling about um, because the nails are much more uniform they haven't had chance to kind of thicken up and grow in dodgy directions they're much more kind of straight and nice and easy to cut so that's a good thing about having uh, piggies with baby nails look at her little face it's so cute <laughs> So using this holding up method to cut the hind legs I will actually support her and bring her up right against my body like this and um, leave one leg the, with the nails I want to cut dangling down. So you need, do need to be a bit more confident to use this method but it is easier because in general they won't try and pull this leg away from you and um, it is a bit more tricky because you're not supporting the foot, you're not holding it with the other hand, that might happen. Um, but it is a quite a quick way to do the hind legs if they are being very awkward. I have Sprite and surprisingly, maybe to some of you, as she is my most tamest piggy, she hates having her nails cut. <laughs> so she can be a bit of a wriggler and um, the third method is to actually wrap them up in a towel or maybe something thinner might work a bit better so I use a pillowcase for Sprite and it's similar to the holding up method but because they're in a towel they kind of feel a bit more supported and a bit more safe I'll wrap her up quite tightly <laughs> so that the front leg that we want to cut is hanging out and hopefully she won't protest too much so with Sprite snails, these are also black and because she's a bit older they have started to kind of curl around a bit, they're a bit longer so um, they might be a bit more tricky to cut Now she's trying to do um, a merge out of the towel <laughs> so she's making it a bit tricky but what you can always do is give them a break so you can put them back in the cage for half an hour or so or you can even space it out throughout the day if you're home at a weekend and you don't want to make it as stressful for them having their nails clipped. Another thing that you can do to help make it less stressful for them is to let them munch on some veggies whilst you do the clipping. Um, something like lettuce, like one of their favourites. Um, I don't do this because I find that they eat it so fast and then they still um, manage to have time to pull their legs away from you and be uh, wriggly and annoying so uh, I find it actually adds to my problems instead of solving them but um, some people find that a, a good way of distracting them so you might want to use that way. Hello Lyra! <laughs> Um, and of course another thing that you can do is to get someone else to help you um, it's much easier if one one person holds the piggy whilst uh, you cut their nails it's much easier that way of course um, there's not always someone around when you've got time to do it so it is handy to know these uh, methods of doing it on your own Lyra is quite well behaved so she will happily uh, um, sit up against me whilst I cut her nails on you. So I hope you found this video useful and as always thank you so much for watching. That's goodbye from me and goodbye from all the piggies. Goodbye!